natural on them. My hair is like not growing. Anyway, what up, y'all? It's your man Wayne Train back with another joint. And I want to talk about this LG wing real quick. LG is quietly killing the game, low key. Like, they've released the, over the past like couple years actually some really dope phones that kind of go, you know, untalked about, at least in the way that I think they should be talked about. But now we got this LG wing. Now, even though, like I said, they, they they doing some big things, and I applaud LG for at least you know being a another uh, another option in the in the, in the in the smartphone game. I mean, it's always Samsung, it's always iPhone, and that's basically it. So it's dope that LG is here. But I got an issue with with LG, and we didn't talk about it. So let's get it. Y'all know I'll be, I go by the name Wayne Train. My real name is Dwayne, man, as you can search it up at the top. Might be uh, a little easier to find your boy that way, but uh, we do tech videos, unboxings, uh, little car ride talks, you know, stuff like this. But if any of that interests you, please consider subscribing to your boy. LG Wing is out. Well, not out, it's not out, but they announced it or whatever. Um, I didn't really watch like their keynote. I watched a couple videos of uh, some other creators who got it in hand. Um, looks dope, I ain't gonna lie. Like It looks like a really nice uh, phone to play around with and whatnot. And like I said in the beginning, I believe that LG is doing some really nice things. I, I love, I've always like liked LG's innovation and just their quirkiness, their way of just like, just trying to do something different. My biggest problem though with that is LG does this a lot. Um, I seen in a comment or in the comment section of one of the videos I watched, basically just made me go and just press record. That's, that's reading that comment made me just go. Right, I, I need to say this because it, it it is literally the same thing I was thinking. But they they framed it in giving praise, and it was I give them praise the exact same way. So dating back to like the the V20. Everybody was starting to, um, you know, removable batteries were done for at that time. Uh, V20, only one to have the uh, removable battery and still be a really dope phone. Um, was it, you made the point, uh, G2. Was the, they were probably the first phone to have thinner bezels on the device, but it was before, um, you know, companies were like, or uh, we were all going crazy over bezels and whatnot. So. Um, what else was it? The G4, I believe, with the leather backs. That was nice. I actually remember that. The G4 was pretty cool. Um, the modular G5. Um, you know, the whole V60 line, or V, the whole V series with, um, their take on audio and stuff like that. And just being committed to the audio, the, they've always had that quad deck. And that was like one of my favorite things about LG phones. Um, but my issue with LG is that very same thing. It just seems like they, they do so much innovation, but a lot of it ends up becoming nothing within a year. Or, yeah, the Flex was another one. Um, just thought about that one. They bring out these, like, dope ideas, but are, in my mind, I don't know if it's the sales that drives their ultimate decision to, like, continue, uh, to continue on with the product, but... Like, I can't, I don't, based on this history of what you guys do, except besides the V-Line, which has been consistently good for a long time, honestly, but it was the V20 that did it for me. The V10 was dope, I was flipped, but that was the one I missed out on. But the V20, the V, every V phone for the most part has been dope. But, um, so I'm not really talking about that, but I'm talking about some of these other changes and like, I like them, but I want to see you guys be able to build on it. Um, in the same way, like, I like when Motorola dropped with the modular, with the mods, the Moto mods. I want Moto mods back, honestly. Like, back here with LG, like, I, I want you guys to continue this. You know, you drop this wing. Can we get wing two? Can wing two survive for next year? Can, can, we, can we see where this idea can 
evolve. Um, Samsung, that's one of the reasons why we love Samsung. Like as much as like Samsung's had their issues, we did have a fold. We had an original fold. It wasn't as widespread, but at the same time, they, they, there was a, there was a, a crowd of people that did have it, and they did fix the issues, gave us a sequel, and now it seems like the Z series is going to be something that is set in stone from here on out. Um, we got they got their S line, they got the Note line, and now we got a Z line. So. Big ups to Samsung for that. LG, I want to see y'all do the same thing. Y'all can disrupt the market in so many different ways with these ideas, but y'all got to continue to make the phone. Like, stop giving up so easily. The the mods with the G5, dope idea. Yeah, at first, it's like the guy it's, this has his issues like a lot of phones do, but don't give up on the idea, man. Just at least give us a few generations before you decide to pull the plug, you know? Like, I don't think, how are you going to expect people to jump on this thing if we see this history from you guys? For me, anyway, me being a techie, I'm going to always give you the first run because I love just trying it out. But as a consumer, a real regular consumer, and for me being like a, a reviewer, I can't really suggest this product to somebody because I know you're not going to invest in it in the future. Like, it's not, it's not fair to the buyer. Software is not going to be in big development for this phone early on especially if we know like our our app developers developers going to want to get in on this phone if they know that uh and next year it's not really going to be a thing anymore because it, it was just a it was a nice headline the lg wing made a little announcement it's not going to be a sequel it's not going to be something that you're going to see people walking down the street with like I didn't even discuss, I don't know how much it costs, honestly. I didn't even see much of that. I'm really discussing just what I see from the from the phone and what like the history of LG. So, that's really all I had to say. LG, please. I'm not bashing y'all. I just want y'all. And y'all y'all will never see this video. But, I mean, I hope I get a couple shares. But, um, please. This, this looks pretty cool. It's a cool device. It's not... Something that I see a lot of people even wanting, even regular people. I don't really know if this is something that's for people or a lot of people, but I want to see a sequel. I want to see a new generation of the wing. I want to see the wing two. I want to see the, the wing three fold. I want to see where this goes. Like, give it a chance. Let it, let it, let it live. Because it looks pretty solid even on the first run, which is really hard to do. Microsoft has made a whole bunch of phones in the past. And somehow the duo doesn't seem like it's ready for prime time. Like at least when you guys do it, it's like almost ready for prime time. Here and there are some little issues, but we can deal with that. A couple software updates will be off and running because this looks solid to me. So anyway, uh, let me know in the comments what y'all think about the wing. I just want to get my little quick, my quick little opinion while I'm driving. Um, I apologize if the audio isn't the greatest because of my exhaust dance. Um, um, but anyway, it's man Wayne Train.